My name is Samir Patwardhan. I work at Northwestern University, and here I'm going to talk about conducting metal organic frameworks for or MOFs for electrochemical device applications. MOFs are crystalline compounds consisting of inorganic nodes, nodes that round balls, and rigid organic linkers, the straight line uh, that are connected in a 3, 3D network. Uh, in addition to being crystalline, MOFs are also highly porous and have high surface area. Uh, here in the figure, you see the open space inside the MOF that is available for gas and solvent is shown in green. Uh, lastly, MOFs are chemically and structurally diverse materials with already over 20,000 different compounds known. Uh, and because of the, their structural properties, uh, MOFs have been extensively studied for chemical separation, gas storage, and catalysis. More recently, MOFs have been investigated for electrochemical device applications such as electrochemical catalysis, supercapacitors, batteries, and electrochemical devices. And here is an example of how such a device works. So we deposit the material on a conductive substrate and apply potential. In this case, we fill the material redox active linkers with electrons. And then at the node, we deposit a catalyst that can consume these electrons and, for instance, convert protons into hydrogen gas. Now, compared to the traditional MOF applications, these new applications require intrinsic charge transport along the MOF framework, which has rarely been studied. Uh, in fact, it is rather counterintuitive that MOFs would conduct, the reason being that the organic linkers and the nodes inside this material are spatially well separated. Uh, nonetheless, it, it does work. And so this, this scheme that I talked about in which uh, the organic linker transport charges and the catalyst we put on the node is just one of the possible scheme. I call it scheme one, but there are other possibilities as well. And you can find references uh, in the bottom. Uh, in the second scheme, you can have a redox active uh, linker that is also a catalyst. So it does charge transport as well as catalysis. Or a third scheme in which we only have catalyst deposited at the node and the charges go across from catalyst to catalyst using linker mediated super exchange. So to conclude, MOFs can effectively conduct charge carriers by linker activated hopping or by linker mediated super exchange. And possible MOF configurations for electrochemical catalysis is either compartmentalized, that is redox active linker transporting charges and catalysis happens on the nodes, or it can be unified. So either the nodes or the linker is, is functioning as charge transporting um, material and as well as uh, a catalyst. And lastly, I would like to acknowledge ENSOR Center, which is Argonne Northwestern Solar Energy Research Center. This work was supported by the Department of Energy Office of Basic Sciences as part of an Energy Frontiers Research Center. Thank you.